See you guys. Did you, do I need the mic? Can you hear me? I love the mic. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, all right, so this whole, all of our clinicians that we bring in are fantastic coaches, fantastic athletes, but number one, they're fantastic people. And uh, so our, it's, it's an honor for me to introduce our next clinician. Um, comes from the capital region of New York, Niskayuna High School, uh, where he was a two-time New York State champion. Sounds With, good. Yep, yep. You got that, everybody listening? Goes on to Oklahoma State University, wrestles for Coach Smith, two-time All-American. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. And, uh, but, but here's the deal. Then Coach uh, Pop went on and uh, started coaching. Started off um, when I first met him as an assistant coach at American University. Went on to take over, uh, and we said this before, said this about all the coaches, took a fledgling program, a program that was non-existent at Binghamton University within three years? I was there for six. But. Within three years, they were top 15 in the nation. Within six years, they were top eight. What were you finish? No, I was 14. Yeah. Top eight. Yeah, top eight. Top eight in the, in the nation. I like all the. I see. You're going to start taking He's one of my great friends. He's going to be his, uh, his, his PO guy. Uh, his, PO guy. Uh, his, not Walk PO. out here with my chest up. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, but then, so he does all these things multiple All Americans. And then he moves on and takes over another program that was at the bottom of the ACC at NC State University, has now taken them, where this year he got one of the trophies at the NCAA tournament. Took 20 years to find a place. Yep. Right? Right. And place. As an athlete or a coach? Yes, that's right. Okay. So, uh, Coach Pop took uh, a program at NC State and now has world team members. Now has an unbelievable support from the community. Now has kids that are moving on to being great people, great business leaders. Uh, and it's all because of his philosophy and what he does in the room. <laughs> and the accountability that he has. And I'm sure at the end he'll talk a little bit about that as a student athlete in college. But uh, as, as a technician, I don't, I don't know of anybody better. And surrounding himself with the right pe people, I don't know of anybody better. So put your hands together. Coach Pat Thanks. Amonicio, Thanks. Yeah, um, Thanks. Thanks. But yeah, he hit on a lot of things. Uh, we can learn technique all day, and I know I've seen some of the stuff that you guys have been implementing, and it's world-class stuff. You guys can learn it, you can get taught, you can bring in world champs all day long in here, and it's amazing technique. But at the end of the day, I think he hit it on the head a lot of the stuff that he's talking about. To become a champion, right, to produce something great, there's obviously a culture that has to be implemented. Um, and that's whether you're on the team or stuff that you're doing under your individual stuff, you know. Even holding yourself to your own standard and having accountability to yourself self and how you measure success. Right? I'm in these meetings right now and I'm listening to all these guys talk that have been very successful business people, obviously very successful wrestlers. But everything, every common theme I'm getting right now is these guys are measuring their success. All right? And I, I can relate that back to our sport of wrestling is how do we measure our success. And everybody's different. To sit here and compare ourselves to the guy that, that's going to go and win Fargo, I don't know if that's realistic if you're in your third or fourth year of wrestling, right? Because we're all over the place. We've got guys in this room probably first, second, third year of wrestling. We've got guys in here that have probably been wrestling 15, 20 years, right? So to sit here and measure and compare yourself to the guy to the left or right, that's not how we're going to measure success. Obviously, we get judged on our wins and losses, but you got to have your own component on measuring success. So we'll talk more about that. Um, technique we can learn all day long. I think one thing, obviously, what we do at NC State, we cover a ton of technique. But I think to win a national title and world championships, there's got to be a system in place, and there's got to be a culture, um, and we got to reinforce the culture. Right. So, we're going to teach you some technique today. Uh, high level cradles. I I'm known for two things: chest wrap and cradles. People make fun of me all day long. That's what I show. But I can tell you this: guys on my team. They know it in and out. We have certain things. We've got great coaches that can teach a thousand different things. I know wrestling, um, different body types, short, stocky, and long, lanky. You got to know wrestling. Whether or not you're going to use the moves, you got to know how to defend it. So I like to show this cradle series I got that's pretty good. Uh, how many guys in here are good on top? 
Okay, good. Everybody put your hand up, please. This is Russell. All right, good. All right, so everybody in this room is really good on top. I'm going to teach you something. You don't need to be nasty right now and have all these turns. You can pick this up by the end of the day. If you implement it into your offense, you can pick this up right now. Uh, I do need a partner, though. Who will be a good guy? Good? All right. Stretch out. 